Alrighty. I am going to try and do this in one take, and I've already failed. That's okay. But we'll get it. Uh, one shot video of how to use MakePlace. So, starting in the application, this is the MakePlace app. The room is where it starts you off in. Uh, you can build stuff in this, placing down furniture and however you like, and it'll let you import it and fun stuff. But I am lazy, so I'm going to use the online houses feature. This lets you browse pre-made designs that folks have made and uploaded here. And sort by a couple different parameters, recent uploads, total rating, total visits. Uh, you can uh, filter by size of the design. Uh, for FC rooms and apartments, you just go for the apartment size. You have a couple parameters for what you want to search here and you have parameters for whether or not you want to see designs in the list that you cannot save. For example, if we look at this modern apartment one, there's this little floppy disk with an X on it, and if you hover over it, it says no saving. It means that if you go and try save this design, it will tell you the layout does not allow saving. You cannot use this. However, usually people will put in cards or coffee papers or something like that so that you can go and grab this design for a small fee. And I have done that. Some of them have been worth it. So, well, before I move along, you can uncheck that box and it will hide those. You can uncheck the box for Beyond Furniture Limits for designs that only work in Make Place and not game, aka stuff that's over the number of items that your selected size can permit. You could of course go in and modify the design before bringing it, saving it up. But I'm lazy, so we won't do that. We uncheck that. Not that it changes much. So we can look at any one of these designs, click visit. It will load the design in the place app for you to preview it. This is actually I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. So if we wanted to keep a design. Go up to the page icon here in the top right, click it, find a name, click the save button, it saves the layout. Now, go into your make place uh, folder and into save. You will see you get a JSON file and a list file. The JSON file goes into the make place plugin on Final Fantasy. The list file is for your use to allow you to see what furniture items you need to get for this to work. It'll tell you what all furniture pieces you need, what dies you need for those, and then it'll tell you the furniture list with the dies. I usually just stick to these top two sections, this one sometimes. Yeah, I'll stick to this top section, and then for the dies, uh, matching those up, I will just use the make plug that we will go there now so i've switched over to final fantasy i'm on what we'll do is we'll go into the housing section and we'll just chill here for a bit see i've already got a ton of items right chat i will type slash make place pop up this window so the first thing i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to load from let's load layout from file I'm going to have to find that save. I'm actually going to to my Okay. And now it will load the furniture list into the make place app. Tell you like here is all what you need and here's what you need to die it out. I'm gonna need to get a lot of these dies. Uh, it will also tell you what uh, interior fixtures, that's like the floor, the walls, the light type that you need. Uh, so once you gather all of that, then we can get to placing stuff. So I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to get to work dyeing all of this furniture so I don't have to redo all of this. And then we will get to placing stuff. So be right back. Hello. So I'm an idiot and I loaded the profile we just saved and not the profile I'm actually building. So uh, everything's going to look a little bit different in the make place tool, but it all works the same. I just loaded a different profile. That's all. 
So naturally, my OBS stopped recording audio properly at this point, so hello, it is I from post-production here to do a voiceover, I guess. At this point, I've got all of the items in my inventory dyed, so I will open up the housing tools and start placing items out onto the floor. You can place them anywhere you like, does not matter because the make place tool is going to move them and rotate them later, so you just need to get them out onto the floor. And my audio is still broken in the next recording, so I'm doing another voiceover. Once you get all of those items placed, you can try and hit the load button to refresh uh, your profile, and it will show, highlighted in white, all of the items that you have placed. If you look next to that, you can see all of the positional and rotational coordinates and data bits for how they're supposed to be placed and rotated. When those are grayed out, it means that they are uh, not set as the profile would like. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I don't remember. Oh yeah. So I was going to show here, if you place an item that's not part of the design, it will show it in this unused furniture section. So like this bookshelf here that I just placed is not part of the design. So it will show it in unused furniture. So anything that's in there, and I accidentally put something away that I didn't mean to there. So I'll have to go hunting for that. But anything that is placed on the ground that is not part of the design, which sometimes it happens, uh, that will show in the unused furniture section. So just locate that, remove it, and then you can hit the load button again, and that item will disappear. So reloading the profile with that button up there will help you uh, check over your work. Now next you'll hit uh, apply layout and then switch your housing mode to rotate. And that gives you the position and gimbal and everything. Now if you don't have it on the rotate menu it's going to give you an error so it's plugins usually pretty good about telling you when you're running into errors or like messing something up. So just keep in mind in your chat if something doesn't seem to be working right. So now with rotate mode on and apply layout on, set the placing interval to like 1000 milliseconds or one second. Uh, this prevents it from crashing, though it still might crash. Um, it is not the most stable at this state. Once you have all of those set, you can hit the load button and Make place will start automatically placing each of the inventory or each of the housing items where it's supposed to go with the right rotation. Once make place is done placing everything, it will let you know that it is finished applying the layout in the chat box. You can look around and see what it has done. If you open the make place tool, you'll see that the position and rotation data for each of the items that you had placed will be marked in white, denoting that they are in place. You'll see a couple things maybe that are grayed out, those things did not place properly or you do not have them, like is the case with this. I think that was the dome and dogwood, I can't tell from the angle I'm seeing this at. Um, so we'll have to pick that up, but here I'll demo something real quick. I'll take the pile or stack of tomes and rotate it and move it away and reload to refresh the page. If we go and hunt that down, there it is. We'll see we have the item in white, that means it's there, but you see that the position and rotation data are grayed out, which means they're not set properly. Thankfully, there's a set button on the right side and if you click it, it will place the item where it's supposed to go. So sometimes I'll like to go through the list and check, replace things. Uh, I think for a lot of these, uh, they're in a weird sort of state with make place where they might be a little bugged. So you'll see like you set one and then it unsets another, but nothing has really changed. So I think it's just a bug with the plugin really. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this helps.